up next. It is Riverdale versus Ottawa Hills. I think we better get ready for a colossal clash of the craniums. Only one team can leave victorious. Who is it going to be? Only one way to find out. BGSU's brain game starts right now. Welcome to BGSU Brain Game. It is Riverdale versus Ottawa Hills. Let's get right to it and meet our teams. Riverdale, tell us who you are. My name is Johanna Thacker. I'm a senior. To my left is David Rakoski. He's a senior. To my right is Sydney Bickford. She's also a senior. And who are you coached by? Mrs. Christy Thacker. All right. And Ottawa Hills, tell us who you are. I'm Thomas Franklin, and I'm a junior. To my left is Alex Mian. He's also a junior. And to my right is Ali Sadiq, who's a sophomore. We're coached by Anthony Patrick Torrio. All right. Okay, this is how things go. We're going to get right to it. We are going to the toss-up round. All questions in this round are worth 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer. So you can be a little bit looser on your buzzers and have some fun with this one. You can confer before buzzing in, and you can steal a question in this round. All right, Riverdale, Ottawa Hills, are you ready? Here we go. Engelbert Humperdinck's first opera was based on a well-loved children's tale of a brother and sister's frightening adventure. That would be Ottawa Hills, Ali. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel is correct. Ottawa Hills on the board first. Georgia is bordered on its east by the Atlantic Ocean and what state? That would be Ottawa Hills, Thomas. Alabama. Incorrect. Riverdale, would you like to steal? That would be Johanna. South Carolina. South Carolina, yes. In mythology, who fulfilled his destiny by marrying his mother? That would be Ottawa Hills, Ali. Oh, Oedipus. Oedipus is correct. Xerography, xeriscape, and zero gardening are all processes that reduce the need of water. That would be Ottawa Hills, Thomas. Water. Incorrect. The need for water. In these three words, what is the meaning of the prefix X-E-R? Riverdale, would you like to steal? That would be Johanna. Hydro? <laughs> Incorrect. Dry is what we were looking for there. If a person suffers from diabetes, their body is deficient in the production of which? That would be Riverdale, Johanna. Insulin. Insulin, yes. What kind of physician specializes in treatment of the heart in humans? That would be Ottawa Hills. Alex. Cardiovascular. Oh, will we accept cardiovascular? We will, yes. When Hercules needed assistance in obtaining the apples, Hesperides, from which titan did he seek help? That would be Riverdale. Sydney. Atlas. Atlas is correct. A dedicated reformer, which Russian leader assumed the reins of power in the Soviet Union in 1985? That would be Ottawa Hills. Alex. Gorbachev. Gorbachev is correct. Identify the U.S. constitutional amendment that provides for presidential succession. That would be Ottawa Hills. Alex. Uh, 25th. 25th is correct. 2-5. The Monument, Balzac, and The Thinker are both bronze. That would be Ottawa Hills, Ali. Rodin. Rodin is correct. That is all of our questions in this round. Let's take a look at our score. We have Riverdale currently at 30, and in the lead with 60 points is Ottawa Hills. You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. Our risk and reward round is coming up next. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Riverdale 30, Ottawa Hills 60. Both of our teams have decided to stay with their lineup from the last round, so let's move right to the risk and reward round. Both teams will receive the same nine questions, 10 points apiece, no deduction for an incorrect answer. The 10th is our risk and reward question. We give you a topic. You can risk up to 30 points on that question, but you are putting yourself in a position to lose those same number of points. You can pass on it and just say, hey, we're good, we're gonna move on. But if you do go for it and you don't answer, still a wrong answer. All right, Ottawa Hills, since you are at 60 points, you're sticking around. Riverdale, off to isolation. 
All right, Ottawa Hills, are you ready for your risk and reward round? Yes, sir. Here we go. In NASCAR, which two-word phrase refers to the car with the best qualifying time? Uh, that would be Ali. Pace car. Correct. George Seurat developed what neo-impressionist technique that involved dabbing the paint rather than extended brush strokes? That would be Ali. Pointillism. Pointillism is what we were looking for there, yes. Because of accusations that included a plot to murder her husband, King Henry VIII, which second wife of the king was beheaded in 1536? That would be Ali. Anne. Will we accept Anne? We need more. Anne Boylan. We will accept that, yes. Among our presidents, only eight have died in office. Identify either of the two 20th century presidents who died in office from illness. That would be Ali. Uh, Franklin Roosevelt. We will accept Franklin Roosevelt or Warren G. Harding. This famous border location established during the Cold War between East Berlin and West Berlin earned a catchy two-word name. Identify this title. That would be Ali. Berlin Wall. Incorrect. We needed Checkpoint Charlie. Lightning and the Aurora Borealis are both examples of which form of matter? Ali. Plasma. Plasma is correct. Identify the biome that is home to a floor, an understory, and a canopy. That would be Thomas. Rainforest. Rainforest, yes. As of what part of speech does the infinitive phrase function in this sentence? We were thrilled to see the torrential rains finally arrive after the long drought. That would be Thomas. Subjunctive. Incorrect. Adverb is what we needed there. Which term that begins with the letter M refers to the least bright periods of a visible, oh, excuse me, a variable star? Thomas. Uh, moon. <laughs> what? Moon. <laughs> no, incorrect. Minima or minima. Oh, we can't accept minimum. Sorry about that. Uh, all right, this is your risk and reward question. The topic is spelling. 20, 10, no, 15, like 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, okay. 10, 10. 10, 10 points on spelling. Here it is. Spell the word trachea. T-R-A-C-H-E-A. That would be Alex. T-R-A-C-H-E-A. Correct. 10 points for you. That is the end of the risk and reward round for you. It is now time for you head at, to head out to isolation. All right, let's bring back in Riverdale. Riverdale, welcome back from isolation. Are you ready for your risk and reward round? Starts right now. In NASCAR, which two word phrase refers to the car with the best qualifying time? Johanna. Starting line. Incorrect. Pace car is what we were looking for there. George Seurat developed what neo-impressionist technique that involved dabbing the paint rather than extended brush strokes? Johanna. Pointillism. Pointillism is correct. Because of accusations that included a plot to murder her husband, King Henry VIII, which second wife of the king was beheaded in 1536? Johanna. Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn is correct. Among our presidents, only eight have died in office. Identify either two of the 20th century presidents who died in office from illness. That would be Johanna. Garfield and MacArthur. Incorrect. Harding and FDR is what we were looking for there. This famous border location established during the Cold War between East Berlin and West Berlin er earned a catchy two-word name. Identify this title that includes a man's name. That would be Johanna. Checkpoint Charlie. Checkpoint Charlie is what we were looking for there, yes. Lightning and the Aurora Borealis are both examples of which form of matter? 
Johanna? Plasma. Plasma is correct. Identify the biome that is home to a floor, an understory, and a canopy. That would be Johanna. Rainforest. Rainforest, yes. As of what part of speech does the infinitive phrase function in this sentence? We were thrilled to see the torrential rains finally arrive after the long drought. Johanna. After. Excuse me? After. Incorrect. We needed adverb there. Which term that begins with the letter M refers to the least bright periods of a variable star? That would be Johanna. Mirage. Incorrect. We needed minima there. This is the risk and reward question. The topic is spelling. How much would you like to risk? It's not me. <laughs> ten, ten. Ten points. Ten points on spelling. All right, your risk and reward spelling word is trachea. That would be Sydney. Uh, T R A C H E A. Correct. You get additional 10 points. Riverdale, that is the end of the risk and reward round for you. It is now time to clear our scores. Bring both teams back in so they can see where they stand against each other. Let's bring back in Ottawa Hills. Welcome back from isolation. Let's get right to it. Ottawa Hills went for the risk and reward question. They went for 10 points. They got it, and they now stand at 130 points. Riverdale, same thing. Went for 10. They got it. They stand at 90 points. Very, very close indeed as we get ready to go to our category round where questions are worth up to 30 points apiece. Things can change very, very quickly, and deductions start. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Riverdale 90, Ottawa Hills 130 points. A clash of craniums was promised. You have received it. We are now moving on to our category round. Both teams have decided to stay with their lineup from the last round. So let's get right to it. There are six categories to choose from. Each category has questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points. But, dum dum dum, deductions start right now. You go for 15, you're risking 15 points. But there is a double or nothing question in there somewhere that might be able to help someone out. All right, Riverdale, since you have 90 points, you get to make the first selection. Uh, what are castles for 20? Castles for 20. It was often the last line of defense during time of attack. These latticed gates were made of wood. That would be Ottawa Hills. Thomas. Portcullis. Portcullis is correct. Ottawa Hills in control. Medical abbreviations 20. Medical abbreviations for 20 points. Identify the meaning of these medical abbreviations. What does the medical abbreviation CPR stand for? That will be Ottawa Hills. Ali. Uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Correct. Ottawa Hills in control. Yeah. 15. Uh, medical abbreviations for 15, please. Medical abbreviations now for 15 points. What does the medical abbreviation MS, that would be Ottawa Hills, Alex? Magnetic imaging. Incorrect. Riverdale, would you like to steal? Is that the end of the question? What's that? Is that the end of the question? Uh, MS, stand for. Sorry, my apologies. That would be David. Medical sciences? Incorrect. Multiple sclerosis is what we needed there. Ottawa Hills in control. Let's go medical abbreviation for 10, please. Medical abbreviation for 10. What does the medical abbreviation ICU stand for? That would be Ottawa Hills. Ali. Intensive care unit. Correct. <laughs> Ottawa Hills in control. Medical abbreviation for 25, please. Medical abbreviations now for 25 points. What does the medical abbreviation HIV, that would be Ottawa Hills, Thomas? Human, human immunodeficiency virus. Correct. Ottawa Hills, still in control, putting on the gas. Medical abbreviations 30, please. Finishing off this category, what does the medical abbreviation COPD stand for? Thomas. 
time. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Ottawa Hills still in control. Right, decade what for 15, please? Decade what for 15? I will give you an event in history. You tell me what decade it occurred. Answers would be in the form of 1820s, 1930s, and so forth. The structure of DNA was discovered. That would be Ottawa Hills, Ali. The 1960s. Incorrect. Riverdale, would you like to steal? That would be Sydney. The 1970s. Incorrect. The 1950s is when the structure of DNA was discovered. Ottawa Hills in control. So decade of what for 10, please? Decade what for 10? Martin Luther King Jr. assassinated. That would be Ottawa Hills. Alex. The 1960s. 1960s is correct there. Ottawa Hills in control. Do decade what for 20? Decade what for 20? The microwave oven was invented. That was in the 1940s. Ottawa Hills in control. Uh, castles for 25, please. Castles for 25 points. Also known as a Don John, what was the inner tower or stronghold of a castle called? That would be Riverdale. David. Keep. Keep is correct. Riverdale takes back control. Uh, decades what for 25? Decade what for 25? When Yale University was founded. That was the 1700s, 1700s. All right, uh, Riverdale in control. Science I for 15. Science I for 15. Identify each of the following terms from science. All answers begin with the letter I. Any disease caused by pathogens in the body. That would be Ottawa Hills, Ali. Infection. Infection is correct, we will accept it. Ottawa Hills in control. Science I for 20, please. Science I for 20 points. Process of sitting on eggs laid outside of the body. That would be Riverdale, Sydney. Incubation. Incubation, we'll accept that. Yes, we will. Riverdale, back in control. Science I for 25. Science I for 25. This is our double or nothing question. This question is open to all buzzers. Question is open to all buzzers. Atoms of the same element that have, that would be Ottawa Hills, Thomas. Ions. Incorrect. That have different numbers of neutrons in the nucleus. Nucleus. That would be Riverdale, David. Isotope. Isotope is correct. No deduction for Ottawa Hills on that. Double the points for Riverdale. Riverdale in control. Uh, castles for 15. Castles for 15 points. A parapet at the top of a wall, especially of a fort or castle that has regularly spaced square opening for shooting through. That is a battlement or an, or an embattlement. All right, Riverdale, still in the pilot seat. Uh, where is it for 20? Where is it for 20? It's right here. Name the city, state, or country of the location described. In what state is the Arapaho National Forest located? They get, they get a chance to answer or are we done? No, nope, we're done, that's it, all right. It was Colorado, by the way, let's take a look at our score. Ooh boy, it's still a very, very close competition. Riverdale, 155, Ottawa Hills, 200 points. But coming up next, is our brainstorm round where questions are worth 20 points apiece, negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. Still anybody's game. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. It all comes down to this. Riverdale 155, Ottawa Hills 200 points, both teams staying with their lineup for the entire game as we move to the brainstorm round. All questions in this round are worth 20 points apiece, teams. Negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, not after. 
No stealing. I repeat, no stealing in this round. Anybody's game. Riverdale, Ottawa Hills, are you ready for your three minutes of brainstorm? Start right now. Identify the European nation whose high-speed highway system, that would be Ottawa Hills. Alex? Germany. Germany, the Autobahn, yes. Identify the Greek symbol that represents the change between two quantities. That will be si uh, Riverdale, Sydney. Delta. Delta is correct. How many neutrons does a hydrogen atom have? That would be Riverdale, David. Zero. Zero, Zero or none, correct. In the eighth century, this African people invaded Spain and remained, that would be Ottawa Hills, Ali. The Berbers. Incorrect, the Moors. Which layer of the atmosphere is closest to the Earth? That would be Riverdale, David. Uh, troposphere. Troposphere is correct. Name for a triangle that contains no right angle. That would be Ottawa Hills, Thomas. Scaling. Incorrect, oblique. In Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which character holds a tea party? That would be Riverdale, Johanna. The Mad Hatter. Incorrect, with the Mad Hatter. That would be March Hare. In the words gastropod and tetrapod, what is the meaning? That would be Ottawa Hills, Thomas. Foot. Foot is correct, suffix pod. Prior to statehood, this region of what is now Ohio was first explored by which, that would be Ottawa Hills, Thomas? Uh, Cabot. Excuse me? Cabot. Incorrect, De La Salle or Cavalier is what we needed there. In which culture's mythology would a person read about Osiris? The, that would be Ottawa Hills, Ali. Egypt. Egypt is correct. Which mountain, the highest of the South American continent, is located in the Andes? That would be Johanna. Aconcagua. Aconcagua is correct for Riverdale. In the Middle Ages, what present day country was referred to as the Holy Land? That would be Ottawa Hills, Ali. Uh, Israel. Israel is correct. Which chemical element is commonly used to galvanize, excuse me, used in galvanized iron, brass, and dry cells. That would be Riverdale. David. Copper. Incorrect. Zinc is what we needed there. What is six cubed? Riverdale. David. 216. Correct. What is the tenth letter of the alphabet? That would be Ottawa Hills. Alex. J. J is correct. Which type of feather in birds is used to trap heat? That would be Ottawa Hills. Thomas. Down. Down is correct. Which characteristic of a sound wave determines its volume? Uh, that is the end of round. Sorry, end of round. Let's take a look at our score. Riverdale with an impressive 215, but unfortunately not enough. Ottawa Hills is our winner with 260 points. Let's give both these teams a big round of applause. In the spirit of good sportsmanship, let's come out, me in the middle, shake hands, and we're going to see you at the next BGSU Brain Game.